Well, good morning, Christ Covenant Church. Uh, the church building is right there. The church, you are everywhere. I'm Pastor Jim, Pastor Kathy and I are co-pastors of Christ Covenant Church, and it is Tuesday, June 4th. First, Tuesday, June 1st. We hope you had a wonderful Memorial Day weekend watching worship uh, and also uh, thinking about Memorial Day and those that have served and given that ultimate sacrifice. But today we're starting into summer and we're thinking about summer, right? What do you think about summer? Well, maybe a lopper, maybe you're doing some yard work. Summer, yard games, frisbees, you know, who knows, right? Boogie boards. We know that uh, this kind of thing is very popular around here. Well, you know what else is popular around here? This summer, in June right now, our summer Bible reading plan is going to be popular. We've got one for our adults. We've got one for kids. And look at that. I was able to figure out how to put it on both sides of a piece of paper. So that's going to be attached to this. And we've got this summer reading Bible reading plan that we're going to do. Uh, it's going to be 26 or 27 days actually, starting today uh, and uh, going until June 27th. Each Sunday we'll preach from something from the week or for that day. And if you're a kid, do the kids one or do the adult one. Hey, great. If you're an adult, do the adult one. Or hey, do the kids one. It doesn't matter but we want you to get together on this. It's called running the race and a marathon is 26.2 miles. And so it's 27 days on the adult one, 26 for the kids. Uh, this is gonna be attached. You can print it if you can't print it. It's been attached to several things as well. At the red mailbox down at the, uh, next to the garage at the Parsonage, there are copies of this there, the adult or the kids ones. And we'll have copies this coming Sunday if you're gonna hold off for a few days and uh, do that then. But today for the adult summer Bible reading plan, we've got Philippians chapter one. And so let's read Philippians chapter one. Uh, the kids one is there too, it's not Philippians, it's something else, but Philippians chapter one. The Apostle Paul writes this and says this, uh, Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to the saints of Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with all the bishops and deacons. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with you with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you because of your sharing in the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. It is right for me to think this way about all of you because you hold me in your heart. For all of you share in God's grace with me, both in my imprisonment and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness, how I long for all of you with the compassion of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer that your love may overflow more and more with knowledge and full insight to help you to determine what is best so that in the day of Christ, you may be pure and blameless, having produced the harvest of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. And so that's just the first part of the first chapter of Philippians there, verses one through 11. And you can read the rest of it up through up through verse 30 on your own, all right? We're asked this question then. Each day there's one little teaser, one little thing. And today it says, reread verse 6 and consider how your faith journey is a work in progress. Let's reread verse 6 then. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work among you will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. Friends, what are you going to be doing today to help strengthen your faith? What can you do? How is your faith a work in progress? 
maybe you can think, well, I'm doing this Bible reading and that's going to be helping to strengthen my faith. And it is. So there you go. Uh, maybe you could call someone. Maybe you could visit someone. Maybe you could drop uh, uh, a, some cookies off or a pie off at someone and uh, encourage them. And in this way, your faith is going to be strengthened as well. One way we can strengthen our faith is to pray for one another. And so let's do it. God, on this beautiful morning, we give you thanks. We give you thanks for the ability to worship as we did on Sunday. We give you thanks for Memorial Day that we can remember uh, those faith-filled people who we pray for and remember on Memorial Day. We give you thanks, God, that we can pray for one another in good times and in bad, in wonderful circumstances and in hard times. God, we pray for those people that are on vacation right now. We know there are a few people, some families on vacation. We pray for people that are in the hospital, coming out of the hospital, in treatment, undergoing care. Uh, we pray for people like Faith Richardson, uh, Charlotte Williams, Claude, Bevan, and Kathy, and as we look forward to Scott and Tatiana's wedding this coming Sunday. God, there are others, and we give them to you as well. But on this day, we give you thanks for the birds chirping, for the mostly blue sky, for the, the, the start of a new day, we give you thanks. God, this day is your day. Help us to do what you want us to do this day for your, as it said you know, in Philippians, for your honor and glory. We give you thanks for this day. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And so, friends, we really do, <clears throat> we really do want you to be doing this Bible plan, reading plan for us. We're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to worship as well this Sunday. Uh, June 6th, which we will be in the sanctuary. Uh, remember, in the summertime, we're going to be inside, sometimes outside, sometimes. Our plan is to be outdoors, you know, right here on the second and the fourth Sundays. The second and the fourth Sundays will be indoors otherwise. But now, with the capacities con capacity controls lifted, uh, we are going to be able to be in the sanctuary, even if it, if it rains, if it's bad weather, we'll be able to move indoors now because that's a different, that's a change from earlier. And so friends, on this day, on this beautiful uh, Tuesday morning in June, be a blessing to someone. And don't forget as well, to receive a blessing as well.